We use energy, lots of energy. Denmark has a political objective of fossil fuel independence, and therefore our energy systems will change significantly in the coming decades. In 40 years, Denmark's energy supply should be based on renewable energy, with wind power, biomass and solar energy representing the largest resources. But where should the energy come from when the wind does not blow? What should we do with the surplus energy when wind power generation far exceeds demand? And which forms of energy should we use in places where we cannot use the power from wind, sun and biomass? The answer is integration. Integration of our energy systems. In a future based on renewable energy, the gas system can come to play a completely new role by using gas produced on the basis of such renewable energy sources as biomass, organic waste, sun and wind. Some of the most significant renewable energy forms that will replace fossil fuels in Denmark in the long term are wind, solar and wave energy, as well as biomass and biogas. Energy generation from wind, sun and waves does not follow power demand, so there is also a need for fuels for generating power when there is insufficient wind. On those days when the wind is still, the energy shortfall in Denmark will be equivalent to the output of 10 large power stations. Although this only occurs for a limited number of hours each year, naturally power should still be available in the sockets when the wind drops. In such circumstances, gas can contribute to the solution. Gas produced on the basis of renewable energy. But in the electricity-oriented society of the future, there will also be energy consumption to which electricity is not suited and which will require an easily accessible fuel, for example, for long-distance road transport and for ships and planes, as well as an array of industrial processes. This fuel could be gas produced from renewable energy. Gas is a stable and efficient form of energy that can be flexibly produced from renewable energy sources. And as a flexible building block, gas can be combined and converted into a variety of fuels that can supplement the power system in pace with the electrification of society. Some of these fuels are liquid, others are gaseous, and they have different properties and strengths. Methanol, ethanol, biogas, hydrogen and other gases. We already produce biogas from agricultural manure in Denmark, but there are numerous other possibilities for producing green gas. The biomass that can be converted to gas is derived from various organic materials. We call it yellow, green and blue biomass. Yellow biomass primarily consists of straw and wood chips. Green biomass consists, for example, of energy willow and clover. Blue biomass comes from algae and seaweed. Some of the gas can also be produced by converting such waste as slurry from agriculture and organic waste from industry and households. Biomass and waste are converted to gas in several ways. Biogas is formed from organic materials in large containers without oxygen. These organic materials include slurry, wastewater or waste which decompose biologically. The other method is thermal biogas production. This method utilizes such materials as straw, wood chips, wood pellets or seaweed. The third method involves the fermentation of biomass to the biofuel ethanol. The residual products in the process can be used for thermal gasification or for classic biogas production by oxygen-free gasification. The gas from the processes can be collected in gas storage facilities and later upgraded and transported through the internationally connected natural gas network. The production processes, especially thermal biogas production, develop heat. This can be collected and distributed through the district heating network, thereby fully utilizing the energy. When wind is abundant and wind power generation exceeds demand, the price of power falls. This cheaper power can, via electrolysis, be used for producing gas. In that way, wind power can be converted into gas in the future and stored for later use.
With the assistance of a range of technologies and processes, the energy from wind power, biomass and waste can thus be stored in large volumes in the existing gas network. At the same time, gas is cheap to transport and easy to store. In Denmark, we have gas storage facilities capable of covering one quarter of our annual gas consumption. This is clearly an advantage when distributing and consuming the gas. With gas as an energy carrier, wind and biomass could be utilized throughout the entire Danish energy system for power generation, for biofuels in the transport sector, and as upgraded biogas for, among others, CHP generation, or transported to the internationally connected gas network. In 40 years, Denmark's energy supply should be converted to renewable energy. A gas system utilizing gas based on renewable energy can constitute a significant contribution to the conversion towards a sustainable society to the benefit of people, the economy and the environment. To learn more, Watch the full version on energynet.dk.